there's not much to do hello guys welcome to our youtube channel if today is your first time of stopping by please do well by clicking the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your notification icon so that you'll be the first to be notified once we upload a new video comment down below like and share got you bro <laughs> yeah bro all right guys in today's video i have uh we're gonna be talking about an important and interesting topic and i have very i have with me three important guests these are three beautiful dancers you can see just beside me two on my right and one on my left so i will introduce them quickly as we go on so the first person on my right is goodness goodness and after that i will have the person. cynthia cynthia then blessing. blessing good all right so guys what are we discussing what are we going to be discussing today we're going to be discussing a topic our first experiences here in ukraine that's going to be the title of this video guys so and the first point we'll be talking about girls we'll be talking about the weather the weather good so i would like to hear from when i first came to ukraine it was cold but it was very cardigan it was very sweaty, so it was not that far to me so because my mother has been very weary she's like it's going to be very cold you should wear this one because the person that brought me here he's always telling my mother it's so cold is this one is that one so my mother is like it's going to be very cold i'm not going to buy this thing for you i cannot buy it late for you you have to wear cardigan you have to wear shirt all the time so she bought cardigan all these things she's not allowed me to buy normal clothes this is when i came here by buying type of clothes so it was cold and i came in the night by all the october time so you know it's cold and i was i was sweating sweater so that was kind of <laughs> yours was kind of what too. I said yours was a bit different actually from mine. Yeah. You are very lucky you had a, a caring mom. No, I'm sorry. Actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Wait, actually, no, that's, you that's are, are lucky, that, you're lucky that you got to have somebody that would that that's that conscious you. about the way. Yeah. That. Because that was getting for you um cardigans and all that. My father my father got to know that the weather was really bad the nights we were going to. Like let's say we we're going to Nigeria. Uh, yeah, we're flying out. So we're, we're fly, yeah, the next day. The night that night flight. we had to get socks and cardigans. Just no, when my mother is like that, but anytime I'm sleeping, even when it's hot, I'm always covering myself. Oh. Like I always cover myself. No matter what I'm even yeah. even when really? my, mother, my dad was covering myself. My dad had to come back because of the traveling house. stuff. And we we didn't even know that we are going to come here. In Nigeria, even common AC. I used to I used to feel cold. No, so, I, I got to a point like mine was actually a whole different story altogether because number one I never even I read stuff little stuff on the internet about this country Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But I never cared to read about the weather. Jeez, I didn't even know what Ukraine was. Oh, I didn't even know if of course, it was the Ukraine yeah, was a new yeah, 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 I never yeah. knew what I never know Ukraine as a country. Yeah. But of course I had you are going to Ukraine for studies. I said Ukraine, Ukraine. It was something. So uh, it yeah. was it was it was a new name to me, that's to be honest. And that was why I have to kind of do a little research on my own. But of course the research is just what Ukraine, I got to know it's a country in Europe, yeah. I got to know the prime uh, the president then. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah. yeah this are just what I this is just the research I made. Of course I got to know that Ukraine is not an English speaking country mm, because yes, yes, man. I was she told I'm coming here she to said, come and study in, in Russia. She said that she came um, during October. Yeah. She, she's quite lucky that she came that period because the weather has not started that period. It starts from November. Yeah, yeah, I guess because yeah, it was the, 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 the weather yeah, actually like, became bad. It starts from, starting from November. November yeah, to because December. yeah, when we came actually, we came on the twenty eighth of October. The truth is, like, it, yeah, like, it was it was yeah, it was, yeah, it, was it was actually November. snowing in Kiev, but just like here in Odessa, it hasn't started. Mm -hmm. But when we came here around second of November or third of November, it started snowing consistently. So when we came here 2016, it's not like the weather now to us that we're here 2016, we can say you guys are enjoying hot weather, not even yeah. cold weather. Because starting from November as of 2016, it kept snowing over and over. I remember then when we were going to school, it was it was a fun time. We had such a fun time because we are going to school, you cannot walk normally. You know, yeah, I hate that you're, it was reaching your knee. Apart from like snow was see, reaching, your, reaching knee. your knee is one thing, is is one thing. But you be of course when snow is reaching your knee, the only thing you do you raise your leg yeah. and walk. But ours was different. Ours was you can't raise your leg because once you raise your leg, you are sliding down on the yeah. floor, you are falling yeah. straight up. Yeah, so you have to just be toe we are just toeing. Yeah, that was how we are working. And we are just 
Vidorina said it was very uh it was funny, funny yeah and at the point of course we're actually throwing ourselves each other uh, snow with snows because me personally this country was the first country i experienced snow you understand i began about snow snow but it was this country that that was my first time to see what snow yeah, so really experienced snow oh, like uh, I, 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 oh. I came last year and there was no snow yeah, oh. only one snow. day it was only once that it snowed yes. yeah as of and last year as of last year it snowed like just i guess it was around four to five times it snowed last year did you notice know that last year's weather was more really like cold like everything changed guys due to what we are talking about the global warming is actually affecting everything like the weather here there are four seasons but the truth is the first season is no more being it's no it's no more being observed yeah. you understand because as of last year i can't read like me personally that was here like 20 i can't say last year we had winter because as of 20 i can't count like the spring. number of times that it snowed we are going to school every day on snow. Like it's snowing. We are when, going to school. I thought when it gets worse, you guys no. Like yeah, that was what they said. Of course, it got worse by the point that we stopped going to school. But I guess it, uh, for like a week or two after that, we we, we kept we, we were continue going to school. So it was. Yeah, but really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Honestly. Yeah. Winter is not for fashion, it's for dress and cover yourself. Yeah, of course. When I came here, actually, I saw the way everyone is dressing, the way their ladies are covering up. Yeah. I was kind of, of surprised. Course, I was like, how can I be wearing dress? I was and surprised. Yeah. Yeah. And no, that, I, that, that, was, that was even a different case. Like me personally, I kind of uh, look at the ladies and say, no, this lady they know how to cover themselves well as a lady. They dress very properly this century but i i never knew it's because of the weather it was when we entered summer that was when i saw the part two you know of the women i saw a different thing altogether but during winter they all dress well cover up weather you know and most of, most of most of these ukrainians i guess they got used to the weather you know you will see them they will just some of them will not cover themselves very very well not really no no, no. most of, of them, course you might see that they are not wearing most of them can only be very um Skimpy skirt. Skimpy skirt, but check, check. The wear will come. Yes, the wear, yeah, the wear yeah, come yeah, out there. Yeah, the wear, yeah, the wear will come out there. Yeah, the wear will come out there. 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 The wear will yeah, like, and, and, and you are talking like this because you are not here 20, uh, 16, 16. I came at 2018. That was what you are saying. That that's why you are saying you are talking I'm like this because of as of twenty sixteen, I like it's hardly for you to say lady just going out on, uh, during the winter period with the holes as we call it on the towel or the inner one. All of them, they, of course, they, they wear the inner one. Then they now put the jeans on, on top. They wear jeans on top. Of course, if not, you just pneumonia will just we just visit your house. With your gloves. Yeah. Gloves. The one of gloves is even 2016 gloves could not help. You are wearing gloves, but the gloves is making you feel more colder. Because of and course so when the when the painful. snow when the snow has yeah. already listen, listen, when the snow has already soaked the globe. It's, it's better you are not wearing gloves than to say you are wearing gloves because that because glove is even making you more. Yeah, cold. and then after that, when you mistakenly pocket your two hands on your jacket, it will look as if someone put pepper inside your two hands, like yeah. someone put. I, I felt that it was that I went to yeah. people to get something. Yeah, yeah. Like I came back went to the bathroom. You see hot water, like oh god, it's so painful. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was yeah. the that was the mistake of your life. You, you are not supposed to go with hot water. water. Like, like, cold water. Yeah. Like, like oh my god. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was it was really so, so painful. So guys, like I told you personally, I never prepared for this uh, for the for the season like. I never read anything about the snow and so on about the no, I, I mean the weather itself. So when I was coming, I was coming on suit. I was suit to come to this country. But of course, at Abuja before our flight, I was worn. I have to go and get some like something of this, like two of them. But aside those two, I never got any jacket. But of course, the truth was I felt a bit cold when I was in the when I was in the plane. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the truth. It was very you cold. Be, you be feeling weird like. It's very cool. See what I'm dressing, like see what I'm wearing, and see what other people are wearing. Yeah, you be feeling kind of weird, and they'll be looking at you. And most of them they'll just be laughing and just yeah, walk yeah. But some can just tap them like, why are you wearing a jacket? Yeah, and of course I don't know. Uh, did they give you guys like um, you know blanket inside yeah. it inside the body, right? 
Yeah, but the one they gave me or oh, they gave us wasn't warm. It was very light. It just like the sheet they gave us. Ours was not so thick. Yeah, because uh, it helped just a bit. <laughs> actually, I, I, I was, not to live with the I was people. actually. <laughs> I had to live with my. Okay. I, 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 was, <laughs> I didn't get enough energy because all this time of things like they would con if they collect it back, they would go and wash it and come and put it back again. So. Okay. Wow, hygiene. For hygiene's yes. sake, you know. Wow. Bravo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. All right, guys. I guess okay, okay. That's cool. I guess we've talked pretty well on the weather. The weather for me personally, like my conclusion. Let's now give our, our perspective. My conclusion was the weather for me wasn't favorable because I was used to hot weather over there in Nigeria. Coming here and I, I, it was kind of and I wasn't lucky to. If I had been here during you know summer, summer. I would have just flew you know move along. But I came here during winter. That's when snow falls. When you are in European countries, you know, you are in some of the countries of, you are in American countries, you know, Australian countries and so on. So it means when you are coming by this time, especially during November, December, January, you are supposed to come with good thick jackets. That if, if not, of course, you will regret, you will regret your life after that. So I don't know what is your conclusion like on this, the way that what can you answer? If you are coming to the cover yourself Come with your cardigan, your socks, and yeah. Come with everything. Come with them. Stay. Oh. Don't come and look sexy like how was you know the first day I came to the clean. I was very. You yeah, have time to do your chakra and all those stuff. Like just come with your cardigan, yeah. your socks, clothes, and the rest of the. Yeah, was especially cold, but not that cold. Yeah, like, that, 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 of course that is, it, it, it was it was like that because of the. Global warming was touching about. No, I wasn't expecting yeah. any food because I never knew any food concerning you. Yeah. yeah. I was not even like, like that cold. Yeah, the, 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 the global warming actually cold. affected everything. That's that just the truth. So you guys are very, you guys are very lucky. That is the truth. Okay, so right now we'll be talking about uh, what is your first experience or what are your first experiences with your food? I had, let me start, let me start, guys. Like, <laughs> My first experience when I was in the flight, they gave us, you know, all these snacks and I guess little food they gave us also. It was kind of amazing. I enjoyed it. When we now get to Istanbul, which is Turkey, they gave us one of these, their local food. Guys, we were very, very hungry. We are four of us then. But I guess out of the four, I was the only one that managed to eat like almost half of the food. But the truth is, all of us we were very, very hungry. You can see like, because we, we, we reached Istanbul, it took us like uh, 12 hours or is it 8 hours of flight from Abuja, yeah, 8 hours I guess, to Istanbul. And from there we, we spent like almost 10 hours at Istanbul, that means all of us we became very hungry. But our ticket includes our meal, that they are going to serve us meal at the, at the, at the, at the yeah. airport, that's Istanbul airport, right? So, but when we went to those people, they gave us some of this, their local uh, store. The smell of this, let me not say smell, but the scent is not uh, it's not welcoming, it's not appetizing at all. It looks kind of a bit cool, but it, the, the taste is kind of irritating. So I was very hungry, but I'm forcing myself to eat a little food in my front. That's one of the worst, you know, that was one of my worst experiences so far since I left Nigeria. And why are you eating it in the Are you? For the first time I came, what I, what, what I ate was trauma. The wow. first time I wow. came, wow. So they want the drama, you know, you know you're expecting the joy, your yeah. your bottle <laughs> shawarma. Right. Only for me to just buy it. I hated my life. I hated it. And you couldn't even eat it. After that first bite, I know it. I don't have to try it. Wow. That was wow. my first. Yeah, actually. I don't understand. You can't decide. Shawarma, that's what I'm saying. No, no, you can't really. put shawarma in shawarma. You can't decide. Like, you can't just wait. Like, maybe you stop that. You could keep the shawarma. No, I came back. Oh, that in like in the airport. What they gave me was just rice, okay. normal type of rice. I see. Okay, you are talking about when you have already yes, arrived. Like the first stuff. food I ate okay. that was bad for me was that shawarma. Like in the airport, what they gave me was normal rice, normal rice, jollof rice, then fried rice. That was people really fried rice. So just yeah, yellow well, rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, that was it's cool. It's manageable. Yeah. And drinks. So wait, that wait. Was, does that mean that you came? You already had free. You had everything because when no, we came, I, I asked somebody. Uh, okay. I stayed with somebody. Oh. So the person had free. The person oh, okay. like, oh, let me go and buy you something. The person bought me shawarma. Oh, I got So you. when I ate the shawarma, 
I was really expecting, I was so happy. Yeah, it's like the person was at the wrong place. You just, yeah. yeah. But me, me, I have a very good experience with their shawarma, though I can't compare the shawarma we are eating when we came here like, yes, to the shawarma now. Because the shawarma then, you will eat shawarma. The whole of this apartment, we know that someone ate something here. The oh, the smell. Yes. You no, know, I mean here in Ukraine, here in Odessa. When we, because I remember one of our, one of my brother, one of our colleagues, that we came together because of the odor, because of the scent. I will say, I will say scent too, because of the odor of. The one in Nigeria, it's not, it's not like I'm not. Okay, because if you test Nigeria shawarma. The shower are very simple. They have different types. You know, in Nigeria, it's like they have 500, 700, 1000, 1, 1, 1, 1, 5. 5. So, if you buy the cheap ones, it's not so. But if you buy the, the costly ones, so when I was in Abuja, I went for the interview and the blah blah blah. Yeah. And let's say the person helped me to arrange my document and all that and go me the shower. I was like, what? Just because I think I'm not. Like, my spirit was not telling me to open it. I was like, what is this? What am I doing? Looking so weird. I just got to stop that. Try to drink and then drink it. So, so, so I didn't think of it. Shama was not really nice. It was like, no, no, she doesn't know what it is. The first thing is, she doesn't know what it is inside. She doesn't know what it is. I'm like, I want to eat Shama. I want to eat Shama. Because in my secondary school, I did have like Jesus. This one was like, gosh. This one, 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 I got to Abuja and you get to take my hair shower. Okay. <laughs> I got maybe I got the one you want. I got to Abuja and I'm like, 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 I'm so, but they say that some of their shawarma, they don't put, uh, I know they don't put chips, this potato chips, I don't know if I'm right. Yeah, they don't put chips. Oh, they don't put, yeah, I guess that's the difference. What they put is just yes. salad. Yeah, salad, cabbage, you chicken. know. Okay, oh, enough chicken, onions, and, my, and so on. They yeah. don't put onions. Oh, they don't put onions. Okay, they, they put mayonnaise. Okay. Yes. Anyway, the first thing I tested when I came to Ukraine, they took me to KFC. KFC of all I can see. That people love so much. Oh, like KFC guys, I saw chicken, KFC chicken, I threw it away. <laughs> I saw KFC chicken and I threw it away. So to that, see, if you bring it to me, like, I'll finish it to one more Are you serious? So you throw away chicken and you throw away a guys, chicken? Guys, I was, I was expecting, you know, even if then they will not give you what you are, you know, like, same thing. So I, I know, like, I was not the first time this yeah. is making you not like yeah. 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 Like okay, okay, like like okay, okay, like me personally, when I came here, is of course it's in this country I started eating Ukrainian meals, but I'm kind of a person that quickly adapts when it comes to food. Wow. So I came here, it didn't take me a week. I started going to their restaurant to wow. order to That's buy nice. food. And my brothers, like the ones we came with, because I told you that we came for of us, they were saying, guy, you, you get mine, you, 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 you get because then they say over their dead body, they cannot eat their Ukrainian, you know. But me, I, I honestly, the food looks so good. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. That is the truth. That is the truth. But their food, yeah. food is very delicious, nutritious. If, because if you, if you like I, their food, I love it. Not just that I like it. I start cooking it myself. Wow. I know how to do wow. brown. Wow. I know how to do grinchka, <laughs> which is gra uh, buckwheat. See, Guys, they can be cooking the kids now. You can see black. You be like, wow, so like, I can't believe it. Test it. Tasteless, yeah, that's No, but it, why should you want it to taste when you want to bring it to your table? When you bring it to your table, that's why it was rubbish. No, no, one thing, one thing with them is they don't, 
they don't really uh, go with uh, uh, spicy food. Mm -hmm. Like they just go with normal, you know. Let it be not over spicy. But of course, Nigerian we like spice, not over spicy. So, but we like spice very well. Yeah, we like we spicy like sweet food. food. Yeah, yeah something nice. delicious, delicious food. You know, <laughs> anyway. you are eating it and enjoying it. Not yeah. that you are eating it. And, and there's a food I like when the food is peppery and that's it. Oh yeah, like me, like me. So I, yeah, that is, that is the difference actually between our African food and their food, guys. One major thing that stands out is they don't like spicy food. Yeah. Most of their food is it looks it well, might look good at, like facially when you are looking at it, it but when you think oh it doesn't look good that's still. Some some of their food is just looking so you oh, okay, weird, right? What is this? But some of them actually looks kind of uh, nice, you know, appetizing nice, yeah. when they are cooking it, when they are preparing it, the aroma and there everything. Are some nice food but when you like taste it, have, yeah. yeah, but what we're right saying, right. we're not we're not saying that they have a bad. Yeah. Hey guys, what we're saying is we're not saying they have bad food altogether because me, of they course, I told really you, it. they are just saying they are not used to it and they are giving their own honest yeah. opinion yeah. on how they see. It. But me personally, I see it a bit different from theirs, from their own point of view because. I ate it the first time. I I love the taste. I love you know. I, from that onward, I even learned how to cook it. So currently, I can cook most of the Ukrainian meals. You know. Bravo. Yeah. Anyways, the cooking show. As I was saying, they brought me KFC chicken. Chai. You just. You don't they can't solve the can't solve the evil. KFC chicken is bad. Uh, what happened to I the KFC chicken? Go! I see what they are saying. You know the what? There are some things they go for. I'm like, what? The chicken is chicken. The what chicken? What is it? I mean, we we just said the chicken. Do you want me? Do you want me? She we just said the chicken. So we're like, you have to eat something because top loss. Let's not say the chicken was fine. Ah, you are not used to it. Top loss is ours. Like, how many hours? It's fourteen hours. Sorry, mm -hmm. 12 plus 6, mm -hmm. that's 18 hours. 18 hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. 18 hours, guys. So I. On plane, I love it. You know how far I'm doing it. But I rejected the chicken. I'm yeah. like, okay. The person that brought us to, like, the video of Stop Agents thing, she joined the chicken. I'm like, yo. Like, I was. I did not talk to I'm like, please, give me cake. I want to eat cake. Yeah, exactly. Like our uh, own actually, the first food we tested when we came here was, uh, let me not say it's food per se, but we, we stopped at the cafe shop, so we took coffee uh, as well as uh, this, yeah, as well as chips, this uh, um, potato yeah. chips, yeah. Well, so it was, it, that was our first, this thing, I'm, I'm not talking about the one of Istanbul, I'm talking about here in Ukraine, uh -huh. because, okay. yeah, at Kiev. But when we get here, I, I guess that was the next day we went to buy some stuff at Rivera, which is one major this uh, market here in Odessa, or let me say, more big, one of the biggest malls here. So when we got there, we actually enjoyed ourselves because, of course, they already prepared the chicken and so on. And you know, this is their rice actually. So we, we, we went. I don't know their rice. rice, you know, this is their cloth, they call it cloth. Uh, cloth you know, yeah. Enjoy. So it was cool. One thing I hate about this place also, I hate that it's the milk. Oh, their milk. No, yeah. their milk is, is not milk. For me, it's what not milk. That's sugar. I'm... No, 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 okay, okay. No, the one you're talking milk. about is no, that, no, one, no. that one is different. I'm no, talking no. about condensed milk. They have fun. Okay, even their liquid milk. It's the condensed milk you are talking milk. about. Their liquid milk is like water. That's water and color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you get a Guys, 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 they are milk. You get let me let me be honest. I'm when you talk about your milk, it's just like the pot I'm used, used to pick. I'm used to pick milk. Of sugar. Yeah, I'm used to pick milk, for example, in Nigeria, as you well as condensed milk. When you take pig milk, of course, you are taking like you what, enjoy what it. What right? you is your body starting? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You even when you're stressing, yeah, you get this type of milk. No, no, it's not available, guys. You have to, if you want it, actually, you have to place an order, and it's very expensive. The money you use and buy one. <laughs> if you're in Nigeria, you can buy like ten. I'm telling or you. Or five. Yeah, let me know it's a jewelry, but it's very expensive. The new is annoying. Yeah, it's actually annoying. But the truth they is, one, with time, with time, you don't want to buy too much sugar. Yeah, with time, I got used to their. Yeah. Of course, Guys, I tried all their meals. One secret that we Nigerians love doing is Ukraine. That's secret. What? 
See, when they are lazy to cook, see, it's complex and they're too slow. <laughs> complex and not is our food. Although we're not really used to their nonsense because their nonsense are like, it's trash. different. And not trash. It's not really trash, trash, but like, it's not okay, different. you can just, you know, but you can cook, you can, yeah, yeah, you can yeah, spice but it up. But have, like, have, I told you I'm a chef. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. I've actually tried cooking their noodles. You know, with different method. Like me. But I've never <laughs> caught it. Like me. But I'm yet to get you know that Nigerian flavor. Oh, but but sometimes. <laughs> <I'm, I'm, laughs> have, have, have you tried cooking it with Nigerian spice like that? Um, spice like um, um, what you're okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've tried that, but you know, you know, you know. When I try it, I don't, I don't cook only that. They are Ukrainian. I mm. kind of mix. Um, That's what I do. I mean, I, so I, when I've you mix your food, you get that Nigerian flavor in it. There's no particular one I tried, like I saw um Tasha the um, coffee, you know that um those um different and uh so I saw them using chicken stock to cook models, I'm like I'm like chicken, you know, then the nana thing is you know, you know, get to the point now. The now price is that cats is decided I'm like, yo man, I need to try this shit. I I would advise you come with yeah. enough spices. From your not only that one, come with enough uh this thing what? chili, which is pepper, come with enough um uh, we see or whatever. Yeah. Anything you know you are used to guys because that was one of the biggest mistakes we made. Yeah. When we are coming here, we came with nothing. No, what, even not even, even a single, single not even guys, a single guys, spice guys. Because if you can hear already, you cannot put it. It's better you pay. It's, it's better you pay for extra yeah, kilos yeah. than for you to come with empty bag. Because of course, I came here. Uh, you know, of course, once in a while you like that African stuff, African food, and so on. So what we do here is they are available, but not in this city, Odessa. But currently, there's a woman. A one, um, there's one woman that just started selling some of this stuff here. Yeah, currently, yeah, in Odessa, yeah. And Mrs. Popper. Oh. Yeah, so she have uh, of course some of this thing, yeah, past stuff, yeah. So, but before then, whenever you want to buy anything, you order it from either Kiev or Lviv or you know, or Kharkiv. So, yeah. not that, but it's very expensive, guys. That's the truth. It's very, very expensive. The money you use and buy, you buy like 10, uh, you know, how would I say, like 5 kilograms of a uh, in Nigeria, you can use it to buy just less than 1 kilogram. Mm -hmm. So, that's the truth. So when you're coming, please don't make that mistake. Even if you have some cool snacks, you know, cheap yeah, <laughs> that you want, come with them. And the rest of them. Yeah, you yeah, know? you will not see gala. And yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry to say this, but most of their peanuts, right, is salty. Yeah, it's yeah. spicy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's spicy, so spicy and salty. So they don't. It's hard for them to. Of course, you can get the one that that one is the one you go and buy and go and prepare it yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you get the one they have already done, it's either spicy or it's salty. Different spices. Yeah. So that is it. Yeah. Yeah. So, don't forget about that guys. So okay, that's good. Yeah. So you have talked about your experience, right? About their food. Okay. Alright, so uh we'll you know be moving to the next section.